guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. Happy New Year. How have you guys been? I did go a little bit quiet towards the end of December once it came up to the Christmas period. I thought about filming some videos, but then I just kind of said, I need a little bit of a break. Um, so I took a little bit of a Christmas break, spent time with family. Didn't travel, was actually here around Nairobi. We hosted Christmas at our house. Uh, it was my baby girl's first Christmas, so that was really exciting. We had a lovely time with family here and also traveling to the other family in Nairobi that hadn't traveled um, up country. Hope you've recovered from any New Year shenanigans and things that you might have been up to over this holiday period. It is January, guys. Buckle down. New Year started. I can't believe it's 2019, like as in, ah! I'm really excited about this year in terms of growth, personal growth of my own. I have some targets that I've set for myself, um, growth of this channel over here. I am gonna keep up with the consistency that I ended the year with, so make up, so make sure you stay tuned for all the new videos that are gonna be coming up. I've got a ton of ideas and I'm gonna be hitting you with those videos at least twice a week, but if I can make it three times a week um, as well. I think I'm gonna keep Friday definitely as one of my upload days, but let me know whether you would prefer a Wednesday and Friday or a Monday and Friday combo, and then the other day, whether it's Monday or Wednesday, will become like a bonus video. So I'll make sure to make, so I'll make sure to have two videos up a week, and then the third video, if I've got um, a bit of extra time and I can slot in an extra video, then I'll make sure to get that up for you. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would prefer, uh, and then I can get started on that schedule this year. If you haven't also as well, just quick plug to my makeup Instagram store, Cocoon Beauty KE. Please make sure to go and follow us over on Instagram. We are bringing in new stock all the time. January, February, March is going to be super exciting because we're launching a whole ton of new brands onto the page. Um, so brands that you would have been interested in, products that you would have been interested in. Um, we're kind of gearing up as the year starts. Um, so make sure that you're followed over there. Turn on post notifications as well, because sometimes I know with this Instagram algorithm, then things get lost. Um, so if you're following over there, turn on post notifications and then you will never miss a deal. I mean, things go really quick um, on that page. And when we were running the Christmas specials, a lot of the products that we had sold out quite quickly. So some of you would send me a message and say, oh, I'd like to purchase this. And actually it had already gone. We'd sold all the units that we had because we had special offers running. Look out for special offers this year as well. We'll probably definitely be running an Easter uh, special. I might do in a special um, sale over on, around my birthday time, because you know, why not? Um, so make sure that you are tuned in so that you don't miss out on all the fantastic deals. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a review of Joanna K Cosmetic. I'm going to keep the intro short and sweet because I'm sure you're itching to find out my thoughts on these liquid lipsticks. Um, but of course, before I start the video, I can't go before I let you know that you have to hit the subscribe button. Please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the fam gang, it would be lovely to have you on board. And if you haven't already, please also make sure to go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I am Olivia Akumu over there to keep up with my daily tidbits. Otherwise, let's just get started. So as you guys know, makeup YouTuber Joanna Kimuvia launched her own makeup line on the 1st of December, known as Joanna K Cosmetics. I think I'm not alone in saying that we were all as kind of consumers of beauty, fans of Joanna, really excited that she had done this amazing thing and put her resources, time, money, effort into launching her own beauty line. And I was really excited to see that she had not just one product, so she had liquid lipsticks as well as the eyeshadow palette. I put up a poll on my Insta stories asking you guys whether you wanted to see a review of the eyeshadow palette or of the lips because I didn't want to buy everything all at once. Um, and most of you voted for the liquid lipsticks. So I went ahead and picked up two colors from her line. And those are the ones that I'm gonna test out for you here today. So I bought these earlier in December. And honestly, I and I've had them basically under lock and key. I haven't unwrapped them, haven't done anything because I wanted to do a kind of live unboxing here with you on screen. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So a rider came and my package looks like this in a lovely glam white box, um, white bag, sorry, um, with a black border and black satin ribbon kind of for handles. And then it has the Joanna K logo. I know you probably can't see that, but it has the Joanna K logo um, across here on the white. Um, so I thought this was really classy, really beautiful that she had kind of thought about how she was going to package her gifts beyond, uh, package her items beyond um, the packaging of the items themselves, but how they were going to be delivered. So I love, love, love this little bag. So as I said, I picked up two liquid lipsticks. 
And just going in here, oh, there's actually a couple of cards put in. So there's a lovely thank you for choosing Joanna Clay Cosmetics. We hope you enjoy your purchase and we'd love to hear your thoughts. So there's a little card in there from them. And this, I thought it was really sweet. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year little card as well because um, I bought the items around Christmas time. So I love that touch as well. And um, so in here we have two different lipsticks and I picked up the colours Unapologetic and Basically. And if you've watched Joanna's video, then you already know she's talked about how the packaging and everything, but I thought I would give you a consumer's point of view. And um, so they are in lovely white, sleek, um, demi-matte packaging. And so it says Joanna K, and it's actually embossed, so it's like a textured effect. Uh, and then on the back, it's got matte liquid lipstick, the ingredients, um, and those little logos that you usually find at the back of the packaging. And then it's got a little black sticker at the end of the box that tells you the shade name. So basically an unapologetic. On first review, on first impressions of the packaging, I really like what this looks like. It is definitely classy. It is definitely gives you the impression of somebody who really thought through their product and wanted to put across a certain image. So thumbs up to Joanna on that. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this packaging and this is the shade basically. Basically is the lightest color. It's a light kind of, it looks like a mauvey nude, but we'll see once we get it out. And then I picked up the shade Unapologetic, which is the red shade. You can never have too many red liquid lipsticks, so I went ahead and grabbed that as well. So that is the shade Unapologetic there. They're kind of, um, not. I thought they would be square packaging, but they're actually kind of rectangular in terms of the shape of the tube. And um, we've got this plasticky, lids um which i don't really like the sign of that sounds a little bit cheap but that's just me uh, but it's got the joanna k uh, logo on the top and then it's got the shade names on the bottom there so i'm gonna go ahead and just do some swatches on my arm for you of these two so first going in with basically and i haven't opened these haven't swatched them at all it seems to have like a little bit of a security screen when you open it so it kind of snaps open uh the doe foot is slim and thin flat um so where do i swatch that let me swatch that for you there so that is basically that is a beautiful kind of pinky mauvey nude i'm so happy that that's actually that color i was worried that it was going to come out and be super pale and i'm glad that it's not and um, that's a really really nice color and then the other shade that i picked up is unapologetic which is a red shade and that right there oh god my swatches are horrific that right there is unapologetic so basically an un unapologetic that is a deep red tone um shade they are very opaque, just from what I've swatched onto my arm there, they are very, very opaque. Um, so I reckon that they would look really, really pretty once you put them on the lip, but we're going to put that to the test. Yeah, I'm happy with those two colour choices, they look really good. Let me just clean that off my arm before I make a mess and get it on myself. Now I can tell they have a lot of pigment in, in terms of how they were formulated because I've not even had them on my skin long and it seems to have stained <laughs> my skin. Both colors actually seem to have stained my skin a bit. That's not really a problem. I can take that off with an oil cleanser, but just to let you know um, that they do stain. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first and that's basically I'm not gonna line my lips because I wanna see what these colors look like on their own. Um, so I've just picked up a bit onto the applicator. I'm just gonna go straight in. So that is the shade basically on my lips there. Um, looks like this. Bear in mind I've got no lip liner on. 
Uh, I really like this shade. I would 100% wear this with lip liner myself. Um, if you are my skin tone, then I would say that you probably should wear a lip liner with it just so that you get that beautiful blend. Um, but the colour itself is really nice. It's taken a moment to dry down, but Joanna did mention that in her video that it doesn't dry down instantly when you put it on to give you time to kind of work with it, blend it in if you need to uh, and do whatever else you need to do to it. But it does feel lightweight on the lips. I don't feel like I've got too much product on. Um, it's kind of similar to other liquid lipsticks that you have that are fairly lightweight. Um, it's drying down slowly but surely now. So, so as I said, it's kind of like that mid-tone nude. It looked a little bit more pink on my arm, but on my lips it looks very kind of neutral. Um, and I do really like this colour. I don't think I have anything that's exactly this shade in my collection, so I'm happy about that. As I said before, this is definitely very pigmented. It's super opaque. You can't see any of my lip colour showing through. Paired with a nice brown lip liner, this would look perfect on my skin tone. Or if you're lighter than me, then I reckon you could probably get away with it. Or if you like this kind of powdered donut look, then you could also still do this. Mm, but I think it looks really nice. It's not... You can definitely see the lines on my lips, but I don't feel as though it's kind of settled into the lines and it's not making them like super, super ugly. I know sometimes you put a liquid lipstick on and it makes your looks, lips look like it's got hundreds and hundreds of lines in it. Um, I can definitely see the lines in my lips, but it's not accentuating them in a way that I'm uncomfortable with. So I do like that. So that's basically... Whew, that was definitely quite difficult to get off. Um, and I guess that's one of the things that you have to kind of balance when you have liquid lipsticks. Um, you can make it super, super put so that it doesn't move during the day, but that sometimes makes it quite difficult to be able to remove the lipstick. So definitely don't go in with your regular micellar water. That's not gonna cut it. Maybe the one with oil in it will do, or grab yourself some coconut oil or a cleansing balm of some sort, but something else that will actually break it down because that alone or some wet wipes, I don't think that's gonna cut it. Just put that out there, yeah, just so you know. All right, so moving on now to Unapologetic, which is this lovely deep red shade. And I have just put down a little bit of Vaseline because whew, my lips were feeling it <laughs> after that. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this straightly on. Okay, so that is the shade Unapologetic. Um, I do have to say, I really like the applicator, and why is because it's actually quite thin and fine, which really allows you, I don't know if you will see, I don't know if you saw that while I was applying, but it allows you to kind of line your lips with the liquid lipstick first, or to touch up the edges if you feel like you've gone a little bit dodgy, um, so I do really appreciate that. So this is it, it's a deep, um, true red. As it dries down, it's going a little bit more blue-based, but I don't know if that's because of my skin tone. When I was first applying it, it kind of looked more, um like a true red. I still have my old Milibachi 46 and I keep it, not to use it on a daily basis, but just to compare shades. Um, and I just wanna put it next to it and see how similar it is to that color. Um, no, not quite. Um, so that right there is, on this side, is the Joanna K, and this one over here is the Milibachi 46. Milibachi is definitely more, more blue-based, so I would say that it has a little tinge of blue in it, but not enough to make it um, that, but not enough to make it the same as um, 46. I know a lot of you use that as a comparison shade, so I just like to pull it out if I have got a red, just to see how similar it is. This red looks really, really nice on though. I like it. It's deep enough. Um, it's perfect because you don't have to wear it with a lip liner. You can just pop it on and go. And it does feel super light on the lips, which is wonderful. Um, it it kind of dries down to like a powdery matte finish. I'm enjoying that. So this is what Unapologetic looks like. me to the end of the video um my overall thoughts are i do really like these liquid lipsticks at least so far on a first impression i will of course make sure that i test them out during the day i'm off for the day i'm off out for a family day right now so i'm going to keep this color on and see how it wears 
as I eat and as I talk and as I basically do my day-to-day -day things and see how it wears on and breaks down. So I'll make sure to keep you updated on it as well, uh, but make sure that you're following me over on Instagram so that you can keep up with my opinions over there. Um, overall, I think Joanna has done a fantastic job. The two colours that I picked up, basically and unapologetic, are beautiful. This would encourage me actually to pick up more colours from the range. Each of these liquid lipsticks retail for 1,600 shillings, which I think is quite fair. Um, I know a lot of people were probably expecting Joanna to do a liquid lipstick and release it for, I don't know, maybe 800 shillings or something. But there is a lot that goes into producing a product and I can definitely um, understand why she chose that price point. And so far, based on the quality of the packaging, uh, the outer packaging and the packaging of the liquid lipsticks themselves, the quality of the colour and the pigment that's involved in these liquid lipsticks, I would say that she has done a fantastic job. So well done, Joanna. Um, and if anybody is interested, I'll make sure to leave the details down below of the Instagram handle of Joanna K Cosmetics. Definitely go and check it out. Support Joanna. I think she has done a fantastic job um, in terms of these liquid lipsticks. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the video, guys, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, and if you loved it, then please make sure to subscribe for more content like this. It helps support my channel and helps let me know um, that you guys are enjoying basically what I do so I can keep producing videos for you. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!